Hawaii Summer Trip Planning 2023. Let's go. This guy. <laughs> Travel experts are expecting almost 3 million visitors this year for the summer. Let's help you beat the crowds. Make sure you do it right. Here are nine tips you gotta know. Hi, I'm Jordan. And I'm Erica. And this is the Hawaii Vacation Guide. So before we jump in, two things. First of all, watch our other video about booking your trip to Hawaii. Like it's, it covers all like the pre-travel planning stuff and help you book it before you come. That one is just an overall trip yeah. planning 2023. Now we're diving specifically into summer is coming up and here's what you gotta know. You're not too late to plan a trip if you're watching this last minute. You'll do fine. Price may be a little higher though. Yeah. Don't be shocked. With the end of pandemic travel restrictions, local residents are starting to feel a little more visitor fatigue. We got 8 billion people on this planet. It's a lot. The yeah. Hawaiian Islands are trying to see a lot of people coming to the islands. So let's make sure you have a good time when you visit here and do things that are kind of like the cultural norm here on yeah. the islands, right? And to be honest, these can kind of go for wherever you travel. So these are just some friendly, helpful travel reminders wherever you may go. Tip number one, avoid rush hour. You're on vacation. Yeah. Traffic definitely gets worse with all these people on the island. Yeah. So just avoid those busy commuter times. Yeah. Number two, respect the Aina, respect the land. What does that mean exactly? Great question, Erica. <laughs> it means respecting closed signs. If a trail is closed, don't do it. Don't try to find those secret beaches down those secluded spots. Drive past those no trespassing signs. You know, just stay safe out there, please. Respect the land. If you see trash, pick it up. That's yeah. what I love to do. Mm. Did this morning on Waikiki Beach. It felt very nice. Oh, it was a nice okay. way to start the day. Yeah. Number three, drive with Aloha. Did you notice no one really honks here? I did notice that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> also too, they drive a little slower here. <laughs> you're, you're not on the mainland anymore. Slow down. Enjoy it. Watch out for those keiki crossing the road. But going along with that, don't slow down for rainbows. Good point. Yeah. Yep. No rainbow traffic, please. Two more. Learn the culture. It's a great way. Go out on activity like an outrigger canoe. Watch a hula performance. It doesn't mean going to a luau. You can find a lot of free ones at local shopping centers. Hit up one of the national historical parks. Just soak up that history because there's so much great history it here. It adds another dimension to your trip. We just went on a tour yesterday. and Oh my gosh, there's this amazing Hawaiian, Polynesian, outrigger canoe sailing. Oh my gosh, it was great. One of the best cultural experiences I've ever had on the island. Yeah. Anyways, I digress. Last one, go out with a local guided tour. We're not just trying to sell you a tour. It's a nice way to start your trip. Go out with a local guided tour. The guide will show you around, talk story, talk about the history of the islands. It reduces road congestion. It's just a win-win for everybody. And you learn so much. It just gets so many fun facts that you can go home and share with all your friends. <laughs> <laughs> like <All right>. <laughs> Tip number one, we get this from a lot of honeymooners, especially post honeymoon, right? Is people pack their days too full. Mm -hmm. You plan a lot of activities, you get super excited about your trip and you're just go, 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 go. Because there is so much to see. What we recommend is space your days out, yeah. right? Maybe have some beach days, have some resort days. Definitely get out there and explore the islands. Our itineraries are great for those. We send you excursion days across the island. Love them, we'll talk more about those later. If for a honeymooner, if for a big anniversary, don't overload yourself. Mm -hmm. Relax, enjoy the islands, do it at your own time. They call it Hawaii time. Just take your time when you're on the islands. And try not to plan too many big things in one day mm. because that will leave you exhausted. So don't do like a big Rotana guided tour followed by a luau in the evening because whew, that would be, be tired, a lot. Yeah, that would be a lot. <laughs> That's how you start your vacation. Number two, jet lag. This gets everybody, right? Everyone. And when we did our video on like big travel mistakes this is the number one item, a lot of people agreed with us. Take advantage of jet lag, use it to your advantage. If you're coming from the East Coast, it's a long flight. It's a six, th hours six hour time. Yeah, yeah, six hour time difference during the summer. So how do you take advantage of it? Plan activities the morning you land. Yeah. Right, or not you land, the first morning there. And or the, the second, second one. Yeah, exactly, go on a hike maybe, do an early morning snorkel tour. You're gonna yeah. be up early. If you got kids, they're gonna be up really early. And also too, don't plan anything that day you land. 
Don't plan like a seven o'clock dinner reservation because you will fall asleep at the table. I got, all right. So one time we were in Waikiki when we lived here and we met this couple in the elevator when Alan Wong's was around. It's the Alan Wong elevator. Yeah. And we're talking to the couple, they're leaving dinner. He literally fell asleep as we're talking to him, <laughs> standing up in the elevator. They had just come from New York. So, yeah, so yeah, jet lag, it's real. All right, tip number three. So hopefully you have your hotel and your rental car already booked. If you don't, head back to our other trip planning video to get those details, but- Or just book them right now. <laughs> <laughs> that too. But if you already have them booked, and let's say you planned super far in advance and you feel great, just go back and double check those rates, double check your hotel rate and double check your rental car rate. It doesn't always happen, but sometimes rates can fall as your vacation date approaches. We saw this happen a couple of years ago. So check the cancellation policies. This is why we love using Discount Hawaii Car Rental because you have no prepayment and you can cancel and rebook if the rates do indeed go down because sometimes they do. There you go. I just want to point out, I got a brand new shirt from Kahala, an Aloha shirt, yeah. and Erica is still in her swimsuit from the beach. Mm. So we're in our Hawaii <laughs> apparel, is what you'll see us walking around Hawaii in yeah. a lot. You'll see the shirt a lot now. Yeah. I don't have very many shirts. No, so you don't. I'm excited to get a new shirt. Yeah. <laughs> so talking about clothing, number four, what to pack. And we are all about minimalism. Yeah. Hawaii is warm, especially the summer. You're gonna have temperatures in the 70s and 80s. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be lovely. It's gonna be nice and hot. So you don't need to bring jeans. You don't need to bring a sweatshirt. We've never had that feeling. Unless you're going to the top of Haleakala. So that's the caveat. All right, Haleakala, the big island, Volcanoes National Park. It's above 5,000 feet. So it is a good idea if you're going to those destinations to bring warm clothes. But for the most part, 70s and 80s, t-shirts, slippers, or flip-flops. That's all you need. I love wearing a tank top here. Other things to remember bringing, we love polarized sunglasses. Sweet love you. those. Bring a good beach bag. No, it sounds crazy, but you can just use it for everything. Yeah. Like, it's not crazy at all, right? Everyone's gonna bring a beach bag, Yeah. but that's it. Really fun one, just tip, we're not affiliated with them at all, but we love the Aloha Collection beach bags. And you can buy them here, you can buy them when you're at home in anticipation of your trip. Those are great. Yeah, it's started by two ladies right here on Oahu, mm -hmm. and they started at Aloha Collection, check them out. Other things, bring a water bottle, lots of water refilling stations, reduce the amount of plastic. You clearly see the plastic washing up in the beaches yeah. here in the Pacific. Also, Erica loves hiking in her Tebas. I sure do. They're great. We're not a big fan of water shoes. The no. Tevas are kind of good in there, but you don't want to wear water shoes because then you can like walk out on the reef and walk on the reef is very, very bad. Yeah, you don't want to damage it. Talking about the reef too, mineral-based sunscreen. Oh yeah. Bring that, so if you're bringing sunscreen, mineral-based sunscreen, that's pretty much all they're selling here now in the islands because they've really seen the reefs rejuvenate. They kind of took a nice break during COVID. The reefs were able to heal themselves. And then now uh, with mineral-based sunscreen, they're still doing really well. So we have some island-specific items that you might want to bring depending on where you are going. So head to the description below. We have a link to our packing list, which will help you just make sure to check those final things off your list. Exactly, especially when you're on the beach and what do you do with your stuff? like your Ooh. cell phone and your keys. We talked about that in the article. Do we? Do we? We you, do. You wrote it. <laughs> <laughs> I was supposed to read it. Talking about rounding out your trip, if you're tired of planning, you just want someone to do it for you, maybe you should download one of our itineraries. <laughs> was that too much? It was a little shameless plug that right was there, wasn't good. it? That was pretty good. But honestly, yeah. the whyvacationguide.com slash itineraries. We have a link down below. We take so much pride and joy in making the best itineraries in all the Hawaiian Islands. Yeah. We got one for each island. Take a look. It'll take you out on days all across the islands, tell you what to do, where to eat. Plus, we got tips on where to stay and tours and activities and a snorkel guide. Yeah, so They're you like can e just download it to your phone, go and enjoy. People love them. People they leave love them. the emails all the time saying like thank you and all this great stuff. So we, we love it. Yeah, so we, we hope you enjoy them too. Do. Have a great summer out there. But we're not done. We still have some sure more tips. Not done. Number five, expecting a busy summer season, this is how you prepare for it, right? Restaurant reservations, definitely make them now. If you have a specific restaurant in mind, book it now, right? Get those reservations in as soon as you can, two, three, maybe actually a month out, probably yeah. best two months out, depends when you're watching this. And See what available. Exactly, yeah. it depends on the restaurant. Mm -hmm. So everything's always different, right? Also too, we mentioned traffic gets bad. So give yourself extra time to get to those activities. You might get stuck in traffic or if you are trying to get to the airport for an inter-island flight, mm -hmm. give yourself extra time because of all the traffic during the summer. And 
consider doing a unique experience to kind of skip the crowd. So everybody might be doing this one super popular thing, but you can find something a little bit different. So trying a farm tour, going to a cultural site and learning about the history, doing some sort of cultural experience, doing a food tour, doing an activity like lay making or hula dancing. A lot of times your hotel has these activities that are included in the resort fee and no one takes advantage of them, but they are super awesome. So just look for other things to do that will really round out your trip and might not be so crowded. Number six, near and dear to our hearts, snorkel and beach safety. This is our quick little PSA. We do it in almost every video. Erica's got it from here. <laughs> She's like our lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> so first of all, a lot of people underestimate the Pacific Ocean. The Pacific Ocean is strong and it can be unpredictable and currents can be crazy. So just make sure that you are not heading out for your first time ever to swim into the ocean. But honestly, pay attention to lifeguard flags, figure out if the conditions look right, sign up for, if you're on Maui, sign up for the snorkel report because they do a really good job summarizing the conditions at that snapshot in time. Exactly, never turn your back on the ocean, understand the shore break. Snorkel with a buddy. Exactly. Swim with a buddy, go out with a buddy. Mm -hmm. Just really try and remember that the ocean can be fierce. So keep yourself safe. And also keep the marine life safe out there too. You wanna stay 10 feet away from Hawaiian green sea turtles in the water, 30 feet on land. Do not approach Hawaiian spinner dolphins. Yep. You leave know, those monk seals alone. Leave those monk yeah. seals alone. They're federally protected. All these animals are. Yeah. So you don't touch them, you stay away from them, and everybody's happy. Yeah. Enjoy it. Number seven, shop local, eat local. Oh yeah. This is great, right? All right, first of all, we absolutely love food trucks. We love them. We're big fans of them. It's a great way to make the whole family happy or everybody in your party happy. You go to a food truck park, you can find what you want. 90% of them take credit card. You can get a local plate lunch. Yeah. You can get fresh fish, you can get burgers, you can get tapenaki. They ramen, they got everything there. And it's these are small local businesses that are surviving and thriving because of visitors coming and residents coming and enjoying their food. It's really cool. Also too, when you're in Hawaii, try some Hawaiian foods, right? You got poke, you have really good Hawaiian food like lao lao, poi, kalua pig, lomi lomi salmon. You can get that out of luau, but you can also usually find food trucks and other local restaurants, yeah. especially here on Oahu. They have a lot of great local restaurants so to serve it up. Great. Highway Inn, Oahu Grill, good place to go for local Hawaiian food. Yeah. Also too, check out local towns for shopping. Example, Lahaina on Maui, Kailua, Kailua Kona, Hanalei, full of local shopping centers, local mm -hmm. shops, get some good souvenirs to take home. Two left, should we talk about the itineraries again? No, 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 okay, number eight. Try a tour. Get out there either on the water, do a big guided tour, whatever you gotta do. It's just fun to do one or two tours. You don't have to overdo it, it can be expensive here, but it's a fun way to get out there and try it. We're gonna list some of our favorites on each island. Oh yeah. But first. I have a quick tip. So if you are booking a boat tour specifically, I really like booking the morning tours because it gets really hot in the afternoon so going out in the morning, you can kind of beat that sun. And you also have a lower chance of trade winds disrupting your tour. Trade winds usually start in the afternoon, mm -hmm. so avoid them in the morning. Here's some fun ways to get on the water on Oahu, a beach loading boat tour from Waikiki. Yeah. They're a classic, they're low cost. You hop on the boat, go out for an hour, enjoy yourself. Some include alcohol, some do not. Easy breezy. It's really fun. You want something a little different? Our favorite snorkel tour on Oahu is over in Colina. You do the Waianae Coast, beautiful snorkeling. You can see sea turtles. You can see Hawaiian spinner dolphins. Not guaranteed, but we got lucky. Yeah. So we had a lot of fun. Also, we have a link down below because we just went on the coolest boat tour here on Oahu yesterday. So we went out on a Polynesian sailing canoe and this was not just like any other tour. It was so cool. They gave us a lot of history. There was music the whole entire time, live music. There were activities. It was just wonderful. So link down more, below. more information on that It was one. amazing. All right. On Kauai, you got the Nepali coast. And during the summer, the Nepali coast is the time to go. You can either hike the Nepali coast, take a helicopter tour. What we love is just take a boat tour out there. Sunset, snorkeling. We have our favorite ones listed down below. Another great one on Kauai is a guided hike. Mm. Get out there and do some hiking. We have our favorite tour down below. They'll show you the island. It's better than a Circle Island tour. On Maui, we love snorkel tours. So we got the Sunrise Molokini tour and also too, Redline Rafting has a quick two hour tour out to Molokini. Molokini Crater 
It can get busy, but if you do it in the morning, you can beat the crowds and it's just a gorgeous way to see the crater. Also, Maui, Haleakala, you can do sunrise or sunset. We have our favorite tours listed down below. One of them is even 10% off. And then on the big island, so people email us a lot trying to fit in a lot of cool stops, but they wanna go all the way around the island. So a great one for the big island is doing a circle tour because they can help you fit everything into one day. You won't get tired from driving. You'll be able to just really sit back and enjoy the entire experience. Exactly. So we listed those off fast. We have them all in our tours and activities section on our website. Some of them have discount codes. So take a look at those, but those are our favorite tours. We've gone on most of them. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of fun doing these tours. We can't sure tell. do. Number nine, the final trip, very applicable for this summer, is embrace Aloha. June, July, and August are the peak visitor months. You're gonna find a lot of people here on the islands. Daily census was 250,000 to 277,000 people last year. And Oahu sees half of all those visitors. Maui sees about 25-ish. So it's a lot of people on the islands all at one time. So just some tips. Try not to find those secret spots, right? Stay on the trails, like we said. The close sign is up, don't do it. You know, look at our website. We have a lot of great stuff listed, the best place to go, like Road to Honda, the best stops to do, the best tours and activities. Enjoy yourself out there, and you're doing it right by watching videos like this. I'm planning ahead. Because Th that's the big thing. You're planning ahead, and you're doing your research, and by doing that, you're gonna have a wonderful time here. All right, so thank you so much for watching this, and make sure you check out our itineraries because we put a lot of love into them, and I think they will really help you plan out your trip and make things just really easy for you. Have a wonderful time visiting the islands this summer. I hope these nine tips help. I and mean, if not, watch your other videos. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> we have a lot to do. I'm planning the island, especially with our website. Yeah. We really enjoy exploring the islands and then sharing them with people. Anyways, have a great time. Thanks so much. Thanks. <laughs>